Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about recording picture and picture video. And rather than go over some of the technical aspects of this process, it's kind of important to give you some ideas on how to think about this. And then the technical parts will be fairly simple. Picture in picture video is a good way to personalize your tutorial videos. What you're doing is you're putting a, an image or a video of yourself typically in the bottom right hand corner. And so if you think about seeing a square of yourself, the, your entire background, and you really giving life to the video, this is a great way of personalizing a PowerPoint video or even sometimes a screen share video. And what this does is allows you to protect yourself while you're explaining your concepts. So it's not just you being detached from the subject. You are really giving people an idea, probably teaching someone an idea that either you agree with or something that you have some strong feelings about. Now, you do want to be aware of where you're going to be on the screen. And one of the things we talked about in the main course is the fact that you can put this square, you can organize it any place. You can put it any place on the screen. You can arrange it at the top right, top left, any place that you want. However, if you're going to be recording PowerPoint or even if you're going to be recording screen share videos, you need to be aware while you're recording of where the video is going to be. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see the square while you're recording. So if you know you're going to be in the bottom right hand corner, you want to leave that area open, whether or not you're doing PowerPoint, whether or not you were doing screen sharing. And yes, you want to recreate your slides knowing where your video is going to appear. And this is especially going to be helpful because you don't want to go back and redo slides or you don't want your video to overshadow the words. Remember, you're not using words to have people read. You're using words to enhance or bolster what it is you're trying to say in your video. Now, you could use your computer's webcam in order to do this, but it's probably going to be best that you get a webcam that will enhance this process. And it's recommended that you get a webcam like the Logitech 930E. And there's a reason that this is a recommended camera. It's probably going to be a little more expensive than your average webcam, but it renders at 1920 by 1080, which is high definition. And it really uses less of your computer's processing power. In other words, the resources of the webcam run inside of the webcam as opposed to other cameras where the resources run on the computer. That's very important because it keeps you from having latency in your video. It keeps you from having a mismatch between what's happening in the video and people hearing your words. And this makes a very credible video and actually keeps people paying attention. You can see the Logitech 930 right here. And actually, it doesn't look different than any other webcam. What's most important, and even if you can't get this particular camera, you don't like this one, you want to get one where the resources do not have to run on the PC. That's the most important thing. That's what makes for the timing in your videos to be in sync with the actual webcam. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.